Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry, haven't done a video in a while. But, uh, sometimes uh, it's not a lot of time uh, in the day, so have a lot of projects uh, happening at the same time. So when I have a few minutes to spare, I try to make a video. Uh, this one's probably gonna be a quick one. Um, I had a Game Boy here, Game Boy Color. <clears throat> and it had a lot of water damage so I don't feel comfortable selling things when they have water damage so uh, I took it apart to see what's inside the only problem with that is the screws it had I don't have them here anymore uh, or uh, I guess three-sided kind of like a like a Y type shaped screw so I definitely didn't have anything like that to or any screwdriver like that to unscrew it apart so pretty much took a hammer and a screwdriver and pried everything apart it was finished anyway so um, there was no point of being nice with it so pretty much all you have is plastic some metal and that's about it. You have the little screen here. So you get a little bit of gold over here. And I'm sure there's some gold once you crack open this. I don't want to do that now just so I don't get glass and shards everywhere. And we get a I guess a medium grade board not sure this would be considered uh, high grade like most uh, consoles again you get some metal uh, there's definitely some gold in here some gold on on this area here some IC chips nothing to uh, write home about uh, <clears throat> I guess if you have the screwdriver for it very easy to unscrew it's like six screws so definitely worth taking it apart if not we're talking about like not more than 50 cents of value in one of these things uh, if you scrap it then take it apart so uh, I would say if you have the screwdriver take it apart definitely worth the time it'll take you not more than five minutes if you have to do it the way I did it with a hammer and a screwdriver and everything prying everything open uh, I would still say it might be worth it especially if you do gold recovery because there's quite a bit of gold so uh, this is what's in a Game Boy if you guys ever wondered screen a board little speaker a bunch of plastic so, uh, try to get out another video as soon as possible I think the next one's gonna be uh, uh, <coughs> sorry. Next one's gonna be uh, a request. Uh, it was uh, those uh, plug-and-play video game console slash controller things. You know, that you just plug into the TV and you can play it just with this little controller. They asked to see what was in one of these things, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do next. Thanks for watching, and if you guys have any questions or, I guess, requests, uh, if I have something around, uh, I'll do it for you guys. Uh, if not, I'll try to hunt uh, down whatever you guys requested, and hopefully I find one quickly enough, and uh, I'll be able to do a video quickly enough for you guys. So, talk to you guys soon.